Welcome to my overview of the Basel Cinnamon State Variable Filter. It's a great sounding filter with a small footprint of 5 HP. Let's start off with some sound examples. I bought this Bastel Cinnamon about a year ago and I've used it extensively as a kind of a utility filter in a small live setup. But it's capable of creating beautiful and complex tones from just about any source you put into it. It's also relatively versatile as a VCO when you turn the resonance up and it's just as useful as an LFO with a twist. The drive and character switches have a dramatic effect on the overall behavior of the filter. Let's dive in. I'm sending a saw wave from generate 3 into the input. The drive and character switches are all down. Let me do a filter sweep with the low pass filter resonance down. I'm turning resonance a little bit up. Resonance up even more. Resonance up very high. Let me move over to the band pass. Resonance down. Resonance up. Resonance up. 
resonance up very high. Now I'm moving to the high pass filter. Resonance down. Resonance up a little bit. Resonance up a lot. I'm gonna move back to the low pass filter and add an envelope from maths into the second CV input. The attenuator for this is unipolar, so if you want to filter to duck, you need to invert your envelope before patching it in. When you put up the drive switch in the up position, it adds a considerable amount of gain to the input. This saturates and clips the sound without getting harsh. Let me add a sequence to generate and to the filter input. Uh, the frequency input, I mean. Let's take a listen to how the character switches alter the sound. The uppermost switch is referred to as the edge switch in the manual, and as the name suggests, it adds edge or harshness to the sound. The lower switch is called the saw switch, and it adds grit and overall weirdness to the character of the filter. When the cinnamon is self-oscillating, it actually turns the sign into more of a saw wave, but more on that later. First I'm gonna put the drive switch back down. Now I'll add the first character switch. Let's turn up the second character switch.
both of them and also the dry switch It is possible to adjust the tremor on the back of the cinnamon to limit or extend the range of the resonance knob to your liking. Let's turn up the resonance knob and take a listen to the sine wave. By the way, it's possible to adjust the tremor on the back of the PCB to make the wave less symmetric and pure. When I put my Vault per octave sequence into the frequency input, you'll hear that it tracks rather nicely. With the first character switch up, the produced wave gets a ramp-like shape. This wave doesn't track nearly as good as the first one. But with the second character switch up, you'll hear that it tracks much better. The second switch gives the wave a more sawtooth character. The saw-like behavior can be altered by adjusting a trimmer on the back of the unit. If both the switches up, the signal goes back to a ramp-like wave, but with higher frequency and better tracking. Now when I add some negative voltage from mats to the frequency input, I can get the cinnamon into low frequency oscillations. The three outputs send out phase shifted versions of the same LFO. To demonstrate this, I fed the LFOs into generator trees level inputs. The character switches give the LFO a different shape and response. And sometimes they speed up, sometimes they slow down. It's very weird behavior. But when the character switches are down, it just behaves as a normal LFO with a sine wave. Overall I think the Bastel Cinnamon is a great sounding filter, it's not expensive, it's small and has some very unique features. The only criticism I have of this module is that the knobs feel a little bit wobbly because they are mounted to the PCB. To be honest even Matt's knobs feel a little bit wobbly, so it's generally a good practice to not let your modular fall to the, gro fall to the ground, PCB mounted knobs or not. I hope you found this overview of the Basel Cinnamon entertaining as well as informative. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you like this format, please give me a thumbs up so I know to make more of these and consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 1000 followers 
and I'm still a long way off, so any help is much appreciated. Be safe. Thanks for watching.